yeah. Yeah, I don't want to be anywhere close to that. Okay, so I'm gonna try and rush through this real quick. I have wanted to do something for Nick for the longest time. But here's the thing about Nick. Nick isn't like most people. He's got a car. He doesn't want a crazy car. He doesn't want anything. The one thing that I have always heard him since the day that I met him wanting is a f***ing MP5 submachine gun. <laughs> so here's the thing that we can't tell anybody. Right now it's set up in pistol form, but there's an SB Tactical full brace for making an actual submachine gun coming in. But I'm not gonna tell him, so I'm gonna keep all of this. So put it on what's list. funny is, is Nick has literally had like the worst morning today. I know, yeah. that's why I was like, this is like the perfect morning for it. Okay, so where am I gonna put it though? Okay, come on. You don't know where to go, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, like, I literally can't see a damn thing. Okay, that's that's the point, Nick. So, like, everything is black. You gotta promise me that you'll keep it close. Yeah, yeah. Okay, come sit down back at your desk. This is scarier than waiting. Don't touch anything on your desk. Okay, I told you a few weeks ago that I had something that I really wanted to get you. You said that you were really good at guessing, so I'm gonna give you three guesses without looking to guess what it is. is it if you get it right, is it a gun? Possibly. Fuck it, just take your blindfold off. Okay, it's not a, well, it's a case. That's the gift. Don't, don't even look, <laughs> don't read it. Don't I don't recognize it. anything on there. Good. Just open it. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, you did not. I did. Oh my god. Is this legal? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. That's what I was saying was so oh. hard. I spent, oh. dude, I spent like three months looking for this. I'm about to cry too, damn it, I'm so excited for this. Wow, I've been looking was, for this. He said so this is legal. This is, this is purely natural. Oh my god. This oh, is everything. Oh. <laughs> this is everything. Oh, wow, so nice happy. job. Good job on god, that one. God damn it, dude. Oh, Take it out my, of the case. Oh. Are you gonna hold it? Okay, Lick so. It. Oh, dude, God, I hate you. Oh, <laughs> okay, so I was gonna, I was gonna save something, but I can't. I just might as well since we're already here. Oh, my heart's beating so fast. So this is actually not complete. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. So the company that sold it to me. Oh, uh -huh. oh my God. The company that sold it to me also included an SB Tactical collapsible folding brace. <laughs> It comes in Holy in a, a few more days. Shit. Holy shit. This is the best. Oh, I gotta sit down. My <laughs> yeah, we went rain yesterday, so that's not helping. Oh my god. Yeah, but yeah, oh it's like. Oh my god. Oh my god. Extra mag. Came with oh. the thing. <laughs> it does the thing. God damn, dude, this is so fucking cool. I have been scouring Gunbroker, no kidding, every day. Like the way, the way that I found the scars and stuff, whenever I was telling you about it, was because I was actually looking for one of those and they just like came across them or whatever. I've been looking for one of those for like months, but just could not find one that was oh, available, period. Do they're so to hard to get a special permit for this? No. Did your day get a little better? They, I literally like yeah. it, came in, it came in last night, and so we here. I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it tomorrow morning. And then I get up, and Andrew's like, dude, Nick is having a fucking horrible morning. <laughs> it's the perfect <laughs> thing. What are we doing today? Like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you on back out to the woodshed, Andrew. <laughs> a subscriber sent me these boots. I literally don't know if I know a time that I've ever worn a boot. Recreationally, today is the day though. I'm wearing it for fun. So we're out here stepping feet on the soil. If anybody from Texas, please forgive me if I butcher this, but you look like a Tequache. Is that right? Tequache. Anyways, you guys probably have no idea where we're at, and that's a good thing. I'd actually like to keep it that way. 
<laughs> which is why we kind of got this. So I don't even really know how to start this. This is a, a bad reveal, but I told you guys probably like four months ago that we were looking at doing something really, really, really big. And that wasn't a joke. And so about a week ago, you may have saw on my Twitter or you maybe saw on Snapchat or something of that sort. I posted about that we were closing on a really, really big deal. And it took a long time. In fact, we were talking about it a minute ago. It was almost four months ago that we got all of this, the whole ball rolling, but because of coronavirus kind of taking place directly after we got started, it took a lot longer than what we were expecting. So four months later, and here we are. Four months and a shit ton of paperwork. No kidding. So, dude, I really don't even know how to do this. Well, this is... I mean, first off, like, it's like one million acres here. It's only a hundred, but. So, okay, yeah, I was about to say, might as well just dive into it. I bought a hundred acres. And we are going to turn this place that you see behind me, all around me, literally stretching for a good bit. We're gonna turn this into the content farm. Patent pending. Patent pending. <laughs> uh, I, I guess trademark pending. Yeah. And what I mean by that is that this entire place is gonna be used for pretty much creating a lot of the content that you guys are used to seeing on either Time Out or It's Just a Six, which a lot of the car stuff, I'll explain. It's gonna take place here eventually, but this is where the property line is. So what we have in mind to do here is, if you guys aren't familiar with property, essentially with big plats of land like this and big acres uh, and a lot of acreage and stuff, you'll cut a line around the property, which is called a fire lane. and basically that is to protect in case a forest fire were to catch maybe who knows a mile down the road and it starts expanding and getting really big and out of control having a fire lane is essentially going to stop the fire from spreading onto my property and burning down every bit of this beautiful timber that we've got here this is actually timberland property as well so over here is where we got started at today and sean is the guy who is doing this that's actually what he does during his normal occupation but he ran to the store or something like that he had to get a fuel filter for one of the machines so i figured while he was down and not working we could come out here and film some stuff real quick to show you and what this is actually going to serve as is more than just a fire lane but we're actually going to use this is dual purpose for a fire lane but also for a road this is going to be a little access road that we're going to offshoot from here and the first thing that you guys are going to be able to see us do hopefully on this channel now with the land is going to be building a shooting range and that is something i think that you guys have been asking for for a while it's something that i know i want to do and everybody else that i know would be able to really take advantage of so the content farm is going to essentially be this giant place where a lot of things can happen we can come out here and film videos jumping stuff if we want to come mud riding if we want to we can come out here and go shooting if we want to eventually we're going to put a house and maybe like a little skid pad and do some fun stuff but this is where my house is going to be located eventually hopefully in about two years from now maybe a little bit less have a big shop house to be able to put cars in uh lifts in pretty much relocate where you guys are seeing the shop and all the videos that take place there and relocating all that to here and uh kind of freeing that shop space up for something that You'll probably see it's coming up soon too. So, but uh, we're building a little small structure out here so that way we can come out here for barbecues. We can come out here to shoot at. We're gonna have power out here. We're gonna have AC out here. We're gonna be able to hang out out in the middle of nowhere. Not many residences around here, literally at all, within much distance from where we're at. So, if you're looking at the top of the little plat survey, what is that even called? The whole, the big piece of paper that we were looking at a minute ago. If you look plans. at the very top, is it plans? No, no, it's not plans. I don't know. It, it's 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 a plan. The printed survey. Yeah. Anyways, we were looking at that, and at the very top of it, where we're gonna do is, is there is a portion that's allowing us to stretch to about 300 yards. We're gonna have a pistol range just outside. We're gonna be able to get to the top of this structure and shoot long range rifles up to 300 yards to sight them in. Long range stuff on the property is gonna be awesome. We should be able to do a little bit of hunting out here, which nobody actually has known. But growing up, I used to hunt a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot. Cars were never really a thing for me growing up that much. They were still there, but it's kind of hard to get into cars without having a license and being able to get a car. But so a lot of the, what I did beforehand was hunt and fish a lot. That's, I mean, everybody in Louisiana, I feel like that's just exposed to hunting and fishing growing up. It's just how it is. Get four wheelers, stuff like that, and be able to keep out here on the property. We're gonna cut out a few trails and stuff. Have a whole shooting range out here. We've been thinking really ambitious about some stupid ideas, like uh, having zip lines between, once we get my house built over there, uh, <laughs> <laughs> trying to get like the shoot house and trying to get like um what else have we been talking about about like this central tower hub thing that oh, you can yeah, visit so we're gonna call uh, the center of it right there where this access road continues down there's like a very center of the property that we were gonna call the hub just stupid ideas which probably will come to fruition eventually hola sir yeah that little thing has the whole job shut down right now really yeah what's it going 
That's a good idea. Right this is just an inline fuel filter. They are surprisingly good. Nick versus Wild. Dude, I grew up eating these. They're delicious. That and ass. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I didn't grow up eating ass. Dude, this is weird. It smells like Sean in here. Really look at home with your uh, torn jeans and boots there. Yep. I will say, Sean, this does look like a bitch and a half, bro. It ain't that bad. If I had the right freaking wrench. I love your optimism. Money oh motivation. shit! Oh, well. Got that hope. So does money motivate you? I'll give you a hundred bucks if you can get it off. Oh but man! Then he looked like, oh man! Well, oh, never mind. <laughs> Damn. Oh, that thing looks ugly. Yeah, this is ugly. But there's usually fuel popping up. Like I usually have to plug this. Really? Uh, yeah, because it because it's a gravity feed off the tank, right? Mm -hmm. This is like the main like feed. It goes to this. This is a transfer pump. It comes up. And goes to this actual real deal filter, and it's pumped into the motor after that. Hopefully, it ain't stopped up in there. <sighs> Yeah, no shit. i tell you what I'm about to do before I do it. I'm going to blow back into it. Ugh. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Mm. That sure looks like normal diesel. Oh, yeah. The difference is astounding. Yeah, the difference. It's only $100 a good, good sucking. I'm about to say, you get paid 100 bucks to put your mouth on lot stuff? I never understood that one. There's really not much blowing involved. No, there's not at all. <laughs> I don't know where they got that name from. I don't it's know. It's odd. Why not a suck job? Because it doesn't sound that as doesn't cool. That doesn't sound good at all, actually. But a it could job. have, you know, from the beginning. It could Maybe. Have. Think she gonna run again? Oh, she gonna be purring like a, like a kitten. Like a full-grown cat. Like a lion or like a tiger? Oh, like a lioness. Ooh. So does that make you Joe Exotic? Well, I mean... What if that was the, what we were actually doing I, out here on the land? We actually were just building this entire... <laughs> actually, there, you remember that clip a long time ago on Time Out? We had a video. Don't tell we were me talking about We were talking about getting tigers and stuff, but nobody knew when y'all were coming we were, out to the land that yeah, way. Yeah, nobody knew what we were talking about. Is the tiger going to be a pet or is it just going to be on the land? I would absolutely have a tiger. Wouldn't that be down. a crazy-ass fucking video? But we were like, dude, it would be so crazy. We could start another exotic but not it wouldn't be like a petting zoo it would more be just like for pets everybody come pet gavin Dude, on sundays imagine, five dollars imagine that like you you have one acre because that's one one hundredth of this whole thing you could take one acre fence it in and just have a whole ass lion out here at tiger or something but hear me out free range gorillas <laughs> on the whole thing <laughs> hey, that's worse hey, than tigers gorillas, honestly but with rockets Oh yeah, gorillas with rockets. Straight up guard guard gorillas. Honestly, imagine if you walked onto somebody's property and you were trying to trespass and it said beware of gorillas and you're just like, excuse me? I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the fuck out of there. I'm getting the fuck out of there. You should get a finger monkey. What the hell is that? You never oh, seen yeah. those? Little, the little, They're like little, little tiny ones. monkeys. They're like literally like like bugs. What about some lemurs? What if we started a new population of monkeys that were just like free roaming in Louisiana and it all started because we had a fucking monkey farm that no one knew about and we just let them go. <laughs> Is that illegal? A whole uh, new population? Yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we would definitely get charged with everything probably. Pretty sure PETA would come and just fuck us up. If we had like one single tiger or monkey here and it was online, PETA would be on our ass immediately. Imagine the video content though. Start out the video and you're like, all right, let's go outside real quick, go feed whatever we, whatever you name it. And just go out there with a whole bunch of steaks, just throw at the fence. If you had a tiger, what would you name it? I don't know, I feel like that's something that you can't just think of real quick. What would you name a tiger? Uh, Evan. Evan. <laughs> Why Evan? John, what would you name a tiger? We shall name him Steve. All right, y'all are bad at this. Fine. Name him Mobius. <laughs> That sounds Mobius. way cooler of a tiger name. Giraffes would be kind of cool. Giraffes, giraffes don't exist. I thought you were a giraffe. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen this happen in person before. That thing definitely doesn't look like you want to get in there, though. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't want to be anywhere close to that. That's what? That's the one, but What? Holy shit! <laughs> Are you fucking serious? That's a bad. What the? That's badass, right? I've never seen that. You were saying that's how you get the stumps to where you can get them level? Whole tree falling on the machine and everything. 
into mulch, which is what you see all over the ground right here, so there's no more trees. It just literally disintegrates them into nothing. Yeah, how much do you think? Not, uh, uh, no, 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 actually. <laughs> it's just charging in. Oh, it's just going. What the fuck? He's off in there, in there. Oh, look, there he is. <laughs> if you saw that just out in the wild, it's time to run. Lewis and Clark should have had one of these things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would have helped. I bet history would have been a whole lot cooler. Just go back in time and just drop off one of these. No big deal. Let's schedule it for next week. All right. <laughs> Sean is, Sean is definitely tree felling right now. He is felling some trees. At what point would doing something like this get old? And I'm like, you know, I don't think it would. I don't think it would. No way. This is like watching those trees. You know, whenever they have like Japanese game where they build the two robots and they battle. Yeah. That's what this looks like. Yeah. While he's cutting down trees, we figured this is actually the first day that I've gotten to step foot on this, with it being mine. So we're gonna christen it real quick. So if you guys saw few videos back it's actually been a bit now but i built this little it's like a little mutant it's essentially an ar upper with an ak magazine so it shoots 762 chambered at 762 it's pretty neat but it's on an ak platform with a side charging handle and everything so i tried to shoot it last time and it wasn't cycling and i took it back home and ended up finding out that it was because of a trigger malfunction putting a trigger in it and uh i just wanted to try it out so also, Nick is gonna shoot the MP5. I wanna shoot that little thing some too. Uh, yeah. Let me function test this real quick. Sean, you good? I will figure this out. <laughs> You did. Sean, I'm gonna help you clear some trees. You need a hand? Got a little tree cutting hatchet right here. Uh oh. It's getting light primer strikes for some reason. That ain't no good. Uh, is something wrong in there? Second light primer strike? Uh. Third light primer strike? I don't know, cuz that's that don't sound right. <sighs> this little thing bullet. out of like 30 probably guns, this is the one that will not function right with me for some reason. Did my part. Oh. Hey, you're tree filler now. I'm tree filler. <laughs> I think it's just the ammo that I'm using. I'm using cheap steel case ammo. I'll be real, bro. You're using 7.62, I've got nine millimeter. I don't see a tree that I could take out. I think it just needs to be shot more. You think so? Yeah, put oh, this look. back up. Shot what in the, the hell? Tree. <laughs> about to be easily the dumbest place for content there has ever been on the history of any YouTube channel that we've had. You're damn right. All right, Nick. Uh-oh. What happened? There's one in there. Oh. Just drop it. Do it again. Like, drop the bolt. Try to shoot. Yeah. I guess it was cycling issue. Every gun wants to jam whenever I'm around for some reason. I mean, this thing is brand new. Never been shot.
did it again? Yeah. Let me see that thing. Maybe you're holding it like a pussy. Could be. Looks like you figured it out. Yeah, this full mag will do it. Here you go. Luckily, I got another one. Hey. This is the first time that I have shot anything like this before. So I think I'm more excited than Nick is. Uh, nah, I'm, I'm not. Nick has been waiting like two weeks to shoot Hell this Hell yeah, thing. this bitch is cool, bro. Just fucking load. There's like no recoil. Yeah, go fast. What the hell? Hang on, I got this. This is super fucking cool. That is so sick. Tree feller too. <laughs> you want to shoot it? Sure. Yeah, you do. You I'll know you it. do. I'll shoot it. Make sure you put that thing on safety. All right, it is on safety. So just rack that thing down and have a whole fuck ton of fun, son. Okay. This is cool. Yeah, don't be scared to finger bang that trigger. I feel weird. Yeah, just brace it. You're good. It's not. It doesn't have. <laughs> You feel that? <laughs> yeah. That's pure bliss. Uh, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, that thing's gonna be wild when that brace comes in. That's you can cool. actually support yeah. it. Yeah. It's gonna be dope. This is the best present I ever fucking got. Thanks, Thanks man. <laughs> man. I'm so happy to hear that. That's the best present that I think I've ever given. Shit. I swear. I really like that more than I like most cars. That's enjoyable to shoot. So, oh, that, that brace? or the ZX10? What you mean? Did you choose that or the ZX10? If you oh, well, I mean, I would get the ZX10, sell it, and buy 12 of those, of course. Damn it. <laughs> this is so funny. I don't know why that's so funny. It's like pulling like a whole ass tree. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say, we're probably about to head back too, so. I guess that's gonna be a wrap for that video. Sean's getting packed up to go home. We're about to pack up, get back to the shop. We got some stuff to do, and it's about to start raining anyway. So, that is gonna be a wrap. I guess this is gonna be episode one of some kind of a series of this entire content farm build. I don't know, I guess we'll take you guys along for the whole entire process. Sean, like I said, is gonna be clearing that little road, clearing out the little shoot house area, clearing our shooting lane, clearing fire lanes around the entire place, maybe do a few four-wheeler trails through it and stuff like that just to start uh, but eventually hopefully in about a year from now or less than that we'll get started on building the house and we'll talk about all that later but uh, this was just pretty much honestly just an introductory video just to let you guys know that we did get it and this is what I've been talking about with the whole big closing and everything that was coming up so I'm excited so all right I don't really know what else to say see you later <laughs>